Okay, okay. Long time to see. Dude. What's up? <laughs> Internet hasn't seen this for a hell of a long time. Don't look at me. Your exhaust, was it a loud or was it like. Thanks again, bro. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> you Peace out. You <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, if you're new here, my name is Victor Nguyen. So recently, I just got a misdemeanor ticket for basically having no airbag in my steering wheel. And let me give you guys a little update on kind of the whole process and how everything's going so far. So I ended up paying a ticket lawyer. A lot of you guys were recommending me to F your ticket, which is like a SoCal based ticket lawyer. And I called them and they gave me a quote and the quote was 2K bro. It was 2K for the case. So I was like, damn, that's a hefty price. So then I was contemplating whether or not I should go to them or not. I ended up asking around, asking some of my friends if they had any ticket lawyers that they recommended. And um, I got recommended to Mr. Ticket SD, which is like a San Diego based um, ticket lawyer. So I ended up calling them and they gave me a quote of $600, which was also hefty, but compared to 2K, 600 is like a lot better. So yeah, I ended up going with Mr. Ticket SD. And uh, yeah, I just wanna give you guys the prices just in case if uh, any of you guys are going through anything similar like I am. But yeah, I ended up going with Mr. Ticket SD. I paid $600. The lawyer just contacted me and there's a couple steps that I gotta do now in order to get my case cleared or reduced to just an infraction and not a misdemeanor. So the first thing I had to do was take a reckless driving course. And I did that yesterday. And bro, that class is crazy, bro. Cause my misdemeanor, I got a misdemeanor for no airbag in a steering wheel. But when I was taking that reckless driving class, I was literally in a class full of people with like DUI, reckless driving, speeding, right? Burnout, sideshows, and like people who served jail time, got their car impounded 30 days. And I was just there like, like bro, my stable just didn't have an airbag, but yeah, I had to do that course and I had to pay for that course too. That course cost me like $130 and it was a three hour course. I sat through that course from 6 p.m to 9 p.m. and you gotta have your camera on. The whole time it's like on Zoom, so you could take it at home, but I had to take that course, get the certification for it, and that was the first step of one of the few things I had to do. So already, I'm already paying $600 plus $130 for the course, so that's already like over $700, $730, so hefty price, but I guess that's what I gotta deal with. And the next thing I gotta do is get my tickets signed off by a police officer by putting everything back to stock. I already got the stock steering wheel back on and the stock airbag, but on my citation, I also got cited for a modified exhaust. So yeah, now we gotta put on my stock exhaust. That's the next step I gotta do. And then after that, we gotta go find a cop, try to get it signed off. Yeah, time to start wrenching on the car again, <laughs> working on the BRZ. <sighs> yeah, let's go do that. <laughs> I'm tired of working on the BRZ, man, but yeah, gotta do what you gotta do. So right here, we got a stock BRZ exhaust. We got the muffler right here, and we got the mid pipe. And uh, shout out to the homie Kaz, bro, for sliding through and letting me borrow your stock exhaust. If you're watching this, thank you, bro. I very much needed this stock exhaust, but uh, don't worry, you'll get it back soon. <laughs>
All right, just finished up. Bro, funny thing is, the mid pipe is from the new BRZ, and then the muffler is from my gen BRZ. So it doesn't even freaking line up, look. So I could only line up the top bolt right here, and this one doesn't even line up, bro. I think it's fine, as long as it passes like the visual inspection that you can see that it's a big ass muffler right there. But yeah, it's done. Let's go ahead and start it up and see how it sounds. Hopefully it's a lot quieter. It should be quieter, but let's find out. All right, it's definitely quieter. There is like a little rattle. I don't know what it is, but honestly, I don't even care. Right after we get the ticket signed off, I'm gonna slap the Tommy right back on. So yeah, we're done for now. Um, time to go find a cop. I'm not sure where to go to find cops. Where should I go to find cops? I can go to a police station, but I low-key don't want to. So yeah, I'm gonna drive around, try to find cops. The ticket signed off. Slap the Tommy right back on. <laughs> changed up a little bit bro this exhaust is actually so quiet it's kind of crazy it's kind of a vibe bro <laughs> we're now gonna try to find some cops i think i'm gonna go to voyager coffee which is a coffee shop and i always notice there's always like cops there grabbing coffee so hopefully there's a cop there for once and we could kind of kill two birds with one stone you know we get our ticket signed off and we get to get coffee sounds good to me so we're heading there right now it's about 10 minutes away from my house and let's hope there's a cop guys <laughs> just made it to voyager coffee i don't see any cops but we're already here so might as well get some coffee i'm honestly not sure where to find some cops bro it's like so weird when you're looking for cops they're nowhere to be found but when you don't want cops there's freaking cops everywhere following you this and that so anyways about to get some coffee get an iced vanilla latte and i definitely need that right now that sounds fire <music> Got our coffee. Let's try to go find a cop. I still, I'm still not sure where to go, bro, to find a cop, to be honest. I guess the police department, but I feel like for some reason, cops at the police department are always like super anal and like, you know, like they, they don't really write it off for you sometimes. But if you just find like a random cop on the street, they'll write off for you. So gonna drive around. Oh shit. We got an undercover cop right here. Holy shit. Yo, a car trying to get away from an undercover, bro. What the? F Yo, that was crazy. Speaking of cops, <laughs> that wasn't the cop that I was trying to look for, but damn, what the hell? I don't know if you guys saw that, but it was an undercover cop and then another car trying to speed and get away from that cop, bro. Jeez. Bro, I don't know why people try to run and get away from cops. Like, you're not gonna win, you know what I mean? It's like, you try to run away from a cop, they'll send helicopters, they'll chase you, like, bro, you're not getting away, bro. But I guess it's for, like, the thrill, right? Like, the adrenaline or whatever, but it's lose-lose at that point. Might as well just pull over, bro, take the L. All right, right now, I'm at in and out That's another spot that cops are always at, right? Still no cops. It's not just me, right? Cops always be at in and out Damn. All right, I think my last last place i'm gonna go i'm gonna try like the bart station i'm not sure if the bart police are able to sign off tickets like that but might as well try because uh, there is a bart station right by my house yeah that's like my last option if there's no cops there and they can't sign it off i'm just gonna go to the police department whatever but <laughs> all right right now we are at the police station i happen to pass by it on the way back so i just pulled up in here sign off my ticket bro finding a cop is actually so hard I'm gonna try to record, but I don't know how the cops will feel about it. It might put them in a bad mood or whatever, but whatever, I'll just go to another cop. <laughs> I just went inside and there's like a whole line of people. So I think I'm just gonna stand on the street. See, I see a cop car right there. And uh, I'm gonna try to wave them down. I'm not standing away from me, you gotta go with Oh, damn. He just waved me off. All right here, there's another one. Let me see. 
Hello, sir. Can you sign off on my ticket, please? Oh, I can't. I got a uh, prisoner. Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> two failed. That cop literally had a prisoner, bro. All right, but we got two interactions, though, so uh, I'm going to keep trying. All right, another one. Another one. Hi, sir. Right, I can't do that. I have a prisoner. Oh, all right. Damn, all these cops got prisoners, bro. <laughs> I think because I'm right next to the jail, too. That's so annoying, bro. I'll try, I'll try one more time. One more time. Oh, I see one walking. Excuse me, sir. Hello, sir. Are you an officer? How you doing? Hi, um, can you please sign off uh, my ticket for me, sir? My citation. My car is uh, parked over there. Uh, which one? It's the, the gray one over there on the uh, right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. What uh, violation? It was for a modified exhaust and a steering wheel. Modified exhaust. Uh, do you have a certificate of compliance? Um, I don't, but I put everything back to stock already. Man. Yeah, what you have to do is you have to go to a referee, I believe. It says certified compliance required. On something like this, you have to go to a referee and they'll give you some sort of a certificate and then I can sign off on it. Okay. Otherwise, uh, I won't be able to. Or what about for the steering wheel? Can you do for the uh, detached steering wheel. Is that, that's a, that's a <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was shocked at it too, but I guess because it yeah. didn't have an airbag. Wow, that's strange. No, I, I can't sign off on a, um, the only ones I can sign off on are the infractions. So I can't do that one either because that's a misdemeanor, which I've never even seen anybody cited for yeah. that, to be honest with you. Or it's because um, my attorney said that I just need to get it signed off. He said just to put everything back. In. Are, you, are you from here or no? Yeah, I'm from here, but I got the citation uh, somewhere else. In San Diego? Yes. Why don't you check with that referee in, um, in Evergreen and see what they say about that? I, I'm a little apprehensive to do it because it's a misdemeanor and it doesn't say that it's uh, correctable. So, um, yeah, try Evergreen College. Uh, that's where the referee's at and maybe they can steer you in the right direction. Okay, all right. All right thank you so all much. Right, man. Thank you. That's so weird. Okay, so I found an officer and he said that he's not able to sign off this ticket because it says non-correctable on it, which makes sense, right? But for some reason, my lawyer said that I need to get it signed off. Yeah, which doesn't make any sense. I feel like the officer is right, so I'm gonna have to contact my lawyer about that. Um, and he said for the exhaust, I need to get a certificate of compliance, which I'm not trying to do that, bro. So let me just contact my lawyer and I'll get back to you guys on that. And he said he can't sign off, or he's iffy about signing off on the, the steering wheel just because it's the misdemeanor. All right. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? All right, so just now, I went off like a steep ass driveway, then I scraped hella hard, and then on the way home, I just hear a flapping noise, bro, and look what the hell just happened, bro. Look at my freaking front lid, bro. Are you freaking serious? Front lid was just flapping like this the whole way until I got home. I mean, at least it didn't break. One of the screws, I guess three of them, there were three screws here, and I guess they're all gone, so they're most likely in my freaking tire now. And I had to put my ugly ass front plate on because I was trying to get my ticket written off and I didn't want them to ticket me for another thing. We didn't get any tickets written off and now my front lip is freaking off and I have a stock exhaust on my car, bro. But anyways, what happened was I asked my lawyer what I should do and he said try to go to like any muffler shop or any like repair shop. Just have them like look it over and basically say that my car is back to stock. So I went to like a couple different shops. I went to a muffler shop and another shop. No one was willing to do it for me, which is a bummer, but I mean, it makes sense. Like why would anybody do that? But yeah, I just sent pictures of my steering wheel and my stock exhaust to my lawyer. Hopefully that's good enough. Uh, I'm still in contact with my lawyer, so I'll update you guys of what he says, but now I gotta freaking fix my front lip. Get a car, they said. Modify it, they said. <laughs> It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> good morning. So it's a new day, and I actually just took off my front lip. Yeah, that thing is looking freaking goofy as hell, but anyways. Right now I'm about to head to the state referee. Not to get a state ref though, just to get a certificate of compliance, because I guess that's what I need in order to get the ticket signed off by an officer. So we're about to head there right now. And hopefully it doesn't cost too much money, bro. I've been spending way too much already just trying to get this whole freaking car situated, bro. Like this whole thing just been so annoying. But yeah, right now we're about to head to State Ref. Right now I just made it to the State Ref. Bro, vehicle exhaust 
noise certification fee $108, bruh. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? I already spent 700 bucks on this whole ass case, and I gotta spend another $100 just to get a freaking certificate of compliance, bro. This is hella dumb, like, like, bro, giving out these tickets, you're just like messing with the, with the person, bro. Like, this doesn't even solve no crimes or nothing, bro. It's crazy. I was talking to the state ref guy, and there's no appointments today. And I guess you got to make an appointment online or something or call the phone number. But there's absolutely no time today. And my court date is tomorrow. So then I need to get all this situated already by today. But then like my lawyer started telling me all this like a few days ago. So it's like I'm super in a time crunch right now. And bro, it's just hella annoying, bro. So I can't even get a certificate of compliance. So the only thing I can really do right now is to try to go to another police station, try to convince them to sign my my citation off. But yeah, I guess that's the only thing really to do right now. So, yep, time to go find some more cops. Hopefully one will sign it off, bro, because my citation says that I need a certificate of compliance to sign off for the exhaust. But I'm not sure if I need that to sign off for the steering wheel. I'm not even totally sure. I'm just gonna go try to find a cop right now. So I'm at the Mopitas Police Department. I just spoke with an officer and turns out he can't sign it off too. Yeah, cops can't really sign it off until I have that certificate of compliance and there's no appointments. My court date's tomorrow. So I talked with my lawyer and he told me pretty much what he's gonna do now is a do a misdemeanor diversion. I think that's what it's called, which basically is something like if you have non-violent case of misdemeanor, then you can get your uh, case dismissed fully as long as you just like stay crime free within a certain amount of time or whatever, which like, obviously I'm not gonna commit no crimes, but yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do now going forward. Yeah, there's not very much else for me to do other than just wait for the trial tomorrow and then have my lawyer relay everything back to me and see the next steps on what to do. But for now, that's an update on my misdemeanor ticket. Such a huge headache, bro. But yeah, could be worse, right? So after all the confusion and headaches, I just scheduled an exhaust inspection appointment at the state referee, which is in a few days, but I'm not too worried because I should pass the inspection. Basically, I would need the certificate of compliance regardless in order to even register the car. And police can't sign off on my ticket anyways since the violations were marked as non-correctable. To those of you who are still watching, I appreciate you so much and I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of what's to come next for the BRZ. So subscribe and stay tuned.